So we are almost halfway through 2024. Today is June 18th and I'm recording this at the end of the day. Once again, it is half past 10 in the evening, but I thought I would come up with a few questions and a few notes to sort of get you thinking about this whole year and the past six months especially, um, whether you've made progress, whether you've not made progress. And if you haven't made progress, it's going to relate to you a little bit more uh, because I want to sort of poke your pain and get you to to be accountable and stay accountable to yourself, most importantly, because that is what gets you progress. Um, you know, doing doing things, sorry, not doing things, saying things you're going to do is fuck all, right? You can tell yourself all you want that you're going to get up in the morning and you're going to do your outreach or you're going to get out and go for a run, whatever it is, you're going to get up at five o'clock in the morning, go work out. I don't really care, right? Whatever it is, you have to stick to what you say because if you don't, you might not see it as a big thing. It is massive because if you can't stay accountable to yourself, you're going to be miserable and you're going to have a mad toxic like relationship with yourself because you'll be saying this thing that, oh yeah, I want to do this or I want to do that and then you're not going to go and actually do it. So it's just going to build this sort of negative relationship with your own mental health uh, and it's something that you should definitely watch out for because you know a one-off here and there is all right but if you're constantly doing it and you're constantly setting goals and you're constantly failing at those goals or at actually achieving those goals um, it's just due, due to the fact that you're not hard, like you're not able to stay accountable to yourself so I wanted to, little, to touch on that a little bit today and actually ask you, what have you done so far this year? Um, are you at where you wanted to be at? Are you in somewhere in the middle? Are you actually achieving your, your goals that you've set out for this year? Or are you just miserably failing? And to be honest, there's no shame in that because I'll tell you what's shameful. Um, I used to record videos of myself speaking into a camera and sort of like manifesting in a way, I guess, um, where I wanted to be at in life, and I'm not ashamed. I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm very vulnerable on this YouTube channel, and I couldn't care less. And I hope that people actually resonate with transparency and value and vulnerability on social media because uh, I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm here to document my own journey, and that means me being vulnerable, and that means me sharing shit on this YouTube channel that I've never shared with anybody. Um, and actually, in fact, I don't think I even shared this with my girlfriend, uh, apart from the odd few things here and there. But honestly, I used to record videos of myself speaking into a camera and saying that I'm gonna be, I don't know, like a millionaire at this age, or at 17, I'd record videos saying that I'm gonna have my own agency at 20 and, um, make 10k per month and do all this other shit, right? And you'd see all the other people doing it, you'd see Iman Gadzi doing it, so I thought, okay, well, I'm 18, 19, 20, whatever age I was at that point, I can do it. And I'd record myself talking into a camera saying, this is where I'm at right now, this is where I'm going to be at in six months. And for accountability, I'd watch that video once a month. And every single time during a six month period, I'd watch that video, there would be fuck all progress. You know how embarrassing and shameful I felt every single time I watched that video? Honestly, I cannot explain in words how how shit somebody feels when you make a video like that, you start doing the work, you do the work for three to five days and the consistency sort of wears off and you get you can't get past the first sort of mental block or the first road block achieving whatever you're trying to get after um, and you watch those videos and you think all right it's a bit of a kick up the ass one month down we've not gotten anywhere let's go again and then the same thing happens and then again and again and again until the whole year's up and you've done fuck all so I don't want this year to be like that for you because for me it's changed and I've broke the pattern of not having the ability to actually do the shit that I say that I do. Uh, and right now I can. And it's one of the reasons as to why I constantly on this YouTube channel and all my socials and anyone that ever asks me how I do this stuff, I constantly bang on about the power list from Andy Frisella 
Like this man has genuinely created a concept and it's not a bullshit concept of to-do list where you put 15 fucking things down on a piece of paper and you try and get through all of them at once and you in fact end up doing two or three of them and you don't get anywhere in your days. Power list is honestly something that has made me realize how effective it is doing five tasks five critical tasks and the one thing that you have to underline within this is the critical tasks and a lot of us lack critical thinking so you need to understand that a critical task doesn't fall in line with a shitty to-do list right it's not go outside for a walk it's chase this person for this payment or chase this person because you want to sign a contract or outreach X amount of people because that's what's going to move you forward every single day and it's about doing that every single day and I've got a notepad I don't know where it is it's here to-do list this is pretty much full right now and honestly I've been doing this for right now months like months and it's I rate my days every single day like sometimes you can see L's sometimes you can see W's the one thing is there's more W's over the past six months than there's L's, which is why I'm where I'm at right now, because of this one fucking concept, and it's incredible, because it's free, and all you have to do is just follow it every single day, and I made a YouTube, not a YouTube video, I made a TikTok video about this today, where my nighttime routine, um, the one that makes me 10k per month, and go and buy my course, and insane, crazy routine, right, none of that shit, it's just simple stuff, I don't go and look at screens past 10 o'clock, even though right now it's 20 to 11, and I should have my blue light blockers on, but I do not because they're reflecting this video, so I do apologize um, to myself, I guess. But it's literally that, right? No screens, you reflect on the day through the use of that power list, you make the power list for tomorrow before you go sleep, so when you wake up, the first thing that you look at is, what is my first task to do? And if you can't do it because there's a time constraint where you have to call somebody and you're starting your day at 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock, you move on to the next thing. It's not like an order thing where you have to do it in order. It's just five critical tasks that you have to do, right? And that's enough of me banging on about it because this video will be very, very long promotion of Andy Frisella's stuff. But to be honest, the guy deserves it because his podcast as well is fantastic. Go and listen to his Q&AF. Um, there's some fucking real value there and it's not full of like adverts like majority of podcasts nowadays so yeah massive shout out to him but let's go back to the actual point of this video and are you actually working towards your goals because it's one of those things right you um, you say you're going to do these things and are you actually doing it like are you working towards your goals every single day are you doing all that you can at the end of the day do you lie down in bed and think, fuck me, I have done every single thing that I set out today. Like, I have reached out to every single person, I have done my blogs, I've done my outreach, I've created content, I've done the strategy for this, I've done whatever else it has, and it, it, it was supposed to be done, I've done it. Or, are you thinking, oh shit, well, I should have done more cold calls, or I should have sent out more emails. Actually, my... Um, outreach work block for example if you're working work blocks um you know half an hour of that was me scrolling on tiktok or half an hour of that was me just walking around the house procrastinating and eating food and whatever the fuck else like doing bullshit stuff like uh, nobody else is going to do it for you right nobody else is going to do it for you nobody's going to keep you accountable to the shit that you say you want to do and you're going to do and if you do feel like you are going to bed every single day for the past month, for the past two months, however many weeks, whatever, if you're going to bed at the end of the day um, thinking that you've done every single thing that you could ever do, right, within that specific day, and you do that every day, and you're not getting, it, getting to where you want to be, um, I encourage you to stay accountable to somebody else. So if you want that to be me, send me a DM of a whole list of your day, of what you do. As Be as honest as possible, because if you send me a, a list saying from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock I was doing outreach, and that's it, well, all right, okay, but were you actually doing outreach? From 5 or from 6 till 
till eight, I was doing content strategy. All right, well, what did that what did that actually consist of? Like, send the list of your day, hour by hour, task by task, right? And obviously, the whole purpose of that is to audit your day and to see whether you're doing bullshit tasks and you're just not being real with yourself, or are you actually doing the shit that you need to be done, but you're just doing it wrong because you're not getting the results. Uh, because it really is as simple as just doing the things that you need to do. And of course, you need to reflect and audit it and make sure that you're doing the right thing. So you might be at a point where you're doing those things, but you're not doing it correctly. And it might be worth speaking to somebody. So yeah, let's have a chat. Message me or book a call with me, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to sell my one-to-ones uh, to anybody. If you do feel the need that you want to learn or you want, you do feel the need to actually talk to somebody, uh, book a call with myself and, and we'll have a chat. There's been a fair few people actually booking over the past week or so since they've been available. And it's mental, honestly. It's fucking brilliant speaking to, to people in the same sort of space as me. Um, it's crazy. But yeah, we hit a thousand followers on TikTok today, which is, uh, which is cool. I've been on tickers now for way too long to hit a thousand today, but it feels good. It feels sick. I know in the grand scheme of things, again, uh, it almost feels like I'm never sort of happy with where I'm at. And I just don't feel like I am. In all honesty, I don't feel like I am. Like a, a thousand followers is uh, nowadays not much. But then again, you can't really gauge it off a thousand followers because if a thousand people were standing outside my house, for example, or in, I don't know, like a um, conference room or whatever, like you'd fill that shit straight away. So it's crazy. We hit 200 subs on YouTube, which is sick again. Um... And we're just ro- rocking and rolling. The agency's slowly growing. A little bit of a tougher week this week, I think it's going to be. But we're just, uh, we're used to it. There's ups and there's downs. And it's just about getting through it every single day. So I'll leave you with a quote that I put for on my goals for this year. And that's, make 2024 an even better year than 2023 was. Do the things you want to do. Have fun and don't regret a single thing.